we're gonna hold them for you for the future. But get them in water. We've had performers grow older and kind of fall out of the public eye and not perform anymore. Um, you know, I was thinking of maybe somebody like Sean Connery, but um, but Betty seemed to always be kind of active, um, you know, even as she got older and and just someone, you know, we don't have many performers that connect us to the very beginning of television. And I think that's that's part of why she was so special. Not only was she did she seem to be a great person, and she did such a great job in every role that she was in. Um, she spanned sort of the life of television. Her career spanned from the very beginning of television, all the way until right now. she managed to stay relevant without really looking like she was trying to stay relevant. Like, uh, you know, Joan Rivers, um, you know, would make a joke of how hard she worked to stay relevant. Like that was the joke for her. But for Betty White, she, she, ne and she never looked like she had to try. You know, all she had to do was sort of show up and you expect one thing and then she'd give you a joke to show, hey, now I, I know what you expect, but here's where I am and here's where the funny is. And that was always, I think, I think people love that uh, about her. We didn't know a lot about her private life. Um, you know, she uh, never remarried, I think, after Alan Ludden died. Um, but she was a stepmom to his kids. And um, we don't really, as far as I know, know very much about her passing, whether she was ill before it happened. Um, you know, she had a very clear demarcation. And even when we saw her do, you know, talk show appearances and stuff later in her life, you know, it was, it was always about um, kind of entertaining people. It wasn't necessarily about just talking about herself. What do you think, Betsy? You know, the only thing that hurts me, why did they wait to do this till I was 90? I mean, a, a few decades ago would have been swell. She always seemed game for a challenge, and she always seemed up for doing something, a role or a bit or commercial, um, no concerns about, you know, whether it would affect her image or, you know, uh, is this going to make me look stupid or silly, you know, just wanting to be entertaining and being funny and, 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 uh, and, and touching people with her work, which uh, again, I think people admired quite a bit. It, it feels like another sort of kick in the shins from uh, 2021 to have her uh, have us lose her in this moment. But you know what you have to do is is focus on all the great things that she left behind, left behind for us to enjoy. And you know we're the way media is configured now, um, we have a greater capacity than ever before to go back and you know go on YouTube and look up her uh, game show appearances to see the Mary Tyler Moore episodes, to watch her on Golden Girls, to, you know, go on Peacock and see the uh, Saturday Night Live episode that she hosted. You know, there, there's so many different ways to experience her work. And, and it's all there in, in the digital library for us to access now. So, you know, we just have to, we have to concentrate on um, the great things that she left behind for us and the fact that we can access it so easily and that we can spend so much time with her even now, even now that she's passed away. And, and what I really enjoy is the fact that she remained in our hearts, she remained a beloved figure her entire 
um, through her entire career. You know. Me to be working with you again. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. Thank you, Rhoda. <laughs> <laughs>